one per thousand words. The drawings is the next important part for a data preparation for manufacturing. This tutorial will teach you how to make the drawings using autoplot functionality. So first we need to make the holes. We use Sculpt tool to make the holes according to the hardware position in all the connected panels. So the hardware brings the holes together. Once the Sculpt operation is done, we can see that those holes are shown on the parts now. Okay, and we can launch an autoplot. We're using the same uh, replacement scheme as we used before. We are choosing template. We are choosing the template for drawing output. Templates drives the way how the drawings will look like. So we can adjust what components would be visible on the drawings and in what way they, those will be shown. So you can choose the output area, you can choose the orientation of the components, you can set the projections, you can change the color of different uh, cover materials, you can define how your uh, whole tables looks like, what is the annotation legend for them, how to mark the precision, how to mark the tolerances, do you want to place the base points oriented dimensions or not, what symbols is used for uh, marking, what is the output format, like PDF, DWG, and so on. So if needed, you can export the data in different formats. And in this case, we will use just the default, just the default template to see immediate results that we are getting. Now the system analyzes how your assembly is built and the drawings will be plotted according to the model. For instance, all the holes will be oriented the top. So those would be visible. And the green direction is oriented along the longest edge of the drawing and so on. So there is multiple convention used in the drawing generation. So once it's done you can open existing drawing as you can see all the components now are placed. They have the dimension, grain indicator, material legend with the replaced material as well as the whole legend on the top right corner of your screen. Different colors means different thickness of the material, so you can immediately see what is the structure of your assembly. Of course, if any changes would be made, those will be reflected in the drawings.